So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the wolf cut properly. Okay, hey everybody, bear with me. Excuse the background noise. My AC is on. It is 37 degrees where I am. I am sweaty. I'm sticky. I'm a little cranky. Everything's fine though. And I'm going to show you guys today how to do the wolf cut properly because this is how I've been cutting my hair for about a year and a half now, ever since COVID started. And my hair always looks good. And I see so many girls that are just lobbing their hair off. And I'm like, okay let's show them how to do this the right way so i decided to just come on camera and show you guys how to do this i'm sitting in my room i'm a little shiny i'm a little sweaty everything's fine so first things first get a pair of scissors preferably hairdressing scissors uh you can get them at walmart they come with a set of thinning shears they're like twenty dollars And we're gonna need a hair tie. So what you're gonna wanna do first, I have a lot of dead ends, so I was gonna trim my hair anyways, is cut it or brush it all to the front. Make sure you brush it and make sure you brush it correctly. If you have really, really wavy hair, maybe straighten it a little bit first. Um, I know you won't get so much the length going on. Ow. So I have a lot of dead ends, as you can probably tell, because I bleached my hair a while back. So you're going to want to pull it so it sits on top of your forehead, like almost like a bonnet even. Make sure the back of your hair is on the top. So as you're brushing, you can easily do that. And that the front of your hair is on the bottom. This way, it's a lot harder to mess it up. Okay? Okay, so now that we've done that, secure your hair in a hair tie. Okay, secured. Make sure it's roughly in the middle. You have your hair like this. Now, a lot of girls are just lobbing it off, okay? Stop doing that. What you're gonna do, since this is the back, your back hairs, if you gave it a little tug, you'd feel it pulling in the back. Make sure you kind of have it straight like that, okay? Okay? Now, because you don't want your it to look square, that's the big thing. So you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut it on an angle so it's like this, like that type of angle. Okay, so your front hair stays longer and your back hair gets shorter because I've also seen a lot of girls who are just lobbing it off like this and then they're wondering why their back hair, the length isn't coming off the back. That's why. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you can see all my dead ends and don't like go here, do a little bit at a time. I have a trash can right here that I'm just going to cut my hair over. I'm going to move my brush and, you know, so angle. Try and have your fingers on the angle you want to kind of cut it on so then it's easier to follow because then you can turn your hair and cut it on an angle. Downwards, okay? Garbage. Don't tip your trash can over. So now we'll take it out.
and see. See, and now it's not super long in the front or super long in the back and short in the front. It's kind of there. I want it a bit shorter, so I'm going to do it again. Okay, and I'll just erase this part out of the video. And again, make sure you And remember, if you drastically fuck this up, hair grows back, right? So I've cut about four to five inches off my hair today. Cool. And we are just going to trim that side a little bit more. We're going to do a little bit of a point cut. Don't nip your fingers while you're doing this because it will hurt I am not a hairdresser okay in any way shape or form and there we go now we'll bring it all back down and you'll see Oh, it feels a lot better. So now there you go. Shaggy wolf cut looks really nice. Layered really good. You can cut a little bit more off the sides if you want. I wouldn't do it too much, but it gets rid of a lot of the length and then your hair feels so much lighter and you can still put it up in a ponytail. And if you need to fix the sides at all, brush it with a middle part down to the sides. Okay. Middle part, you're here better than I just did. <laughs> and what you're gonna do is you are going to bring your garbage can back over and cut it on an angle this way. So towards, if it's, you want the longer part of the angle in the back so it doesn't look too ridiculous. And you just kinda, like I'm literally doing this in the camera right now, so. It's just a nice way to cut some of your hair and do it on an angle. There we go. Make sure it's even. And there you are. There you go. There is the shaggy wolf cut. I hope you guys like the tutorial. I hope it makes sense. And that way it's nice and quick. This, it, it just, it takes 10 minutes, gets your hair out of your face. Make sure that it's even. Mine's pretty even. And yeah, there you go. I hope you guys like that tutorial and I'll talk to you later.